Uh, all right, next topic. This is a uh, Meek Mill via his Instagram. First, ABC News put up an uh, investigation on the way after body a 12 year old boy found with gunshot wound, well, with gunshot wound in uh, Philly, a Philly dumpster. Then Meek puts, they need to let us fight this uh, S word back. Me and the old heads can clear some of this S up. We need the jails behind us too. Uh, so it's no escape and the wrong woman or child get killed. I don't think we'll be able to turn back. Can uh, black people still come together besides a rap concert uh, or sports? We looking terrible. What do you think of Meek doing that? You think, you know, he has a right for receiving retention play, big part of someone put that's funny. Uh, but what you think about um We see this from every every old head. We see this from every single old head. Every rapper who get to a certain age, you know. You see, the thing is, they always know right from wrong. From the moment they hit 17, 18 years old, they know right from wrong. They know they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Thank God Meek Mill never did nothing to nobody for real. He never stepped on nothing, so he, he lived long enough to to say these type of things. But, you know, it's going to be, this ain't never going to end. It's never going to end as long as y'all, as long as the music we got, the long as we got people like Sexy Red promoting STDs. You know, it ain't no other culture where we promote, we put, we push to the top of the algorithm, push to the top of our people to be the front line head of our people where the worst as examples, we don't have this nowhere else. But as long as we got the Sexy Reds, the Lil Dirks, the NLE Choppers, the the NBA Young Boys, YNW Melly. the YNW Mellies. This ain't never gonna end as long as we got these these big head, these big these big labels pushing this stuff to our kids. Y'all need to start. Stop being super gangster with. Stop being super gangster with the um the people in the streets. It's, <clears throat> and start running into these labels and start shooting start shooting them up. These label execs who sign who sign Lil Fufu. Who done stepped on 10 people in the neighborhood, start shooting them up. Why you sign? Nah, you ain't signing them. Start, 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 start auditing these labels. As far as who is y'all signing? Oh, let me look into him. Nah, you ain't signing him. You gonna die right here. You sign him, you gonna die right here. Yup. Just like, cause he done stepped, that's your karma. That's how we gonna do it. We not being gangster with each other no more. Nah, you gonna sign these people over here because y'all y'all get super tough with the people in the neighborhoods and get ready to knock them off. So start getting that getting on that with the label heads. Let's force them like nah, sign this. Start bringing people to the labels. You know, shout out Gucci man. He just brought a, a, a individual who not like that to to the label. He pushed him. I wish he could have went, but he, Who's but that white, that white rapper, that white rapper from Gucci man. Yeah. yeah. I wish he would have got a black one, but it's a reason why he got a white one. He didn't get a black one. Cause he know, ain't nobody going to go behind a black one. If he ain't talking like this over here. So, you know, or maybe they just don't know how to, how to, how to promote a black guy who not own that. So he went and got a white boy. Start, start, starting your own labels. Take matters into your own hands. Y'all see what the labels do? Put y'all money into a a, into a rapper who not promoting killing. That's how we could. It, it's all gonna start from the airwaves. It ain't never gonna stop as long as we got it being pushed to the kids that killing is fun. That's why rap done died out. When we put the killer over the Drakes, we put the killers over the Kanyes, we put the we put the shooters over the over the uh over the Eminems, we put the shooter over the real talent. That's why rap dying. That's why ain't no number ones coming out of rap right now. Because we put the shooters over the over the talent. When Drill came out in 2012, that's when rap died right there. That's when rap died. Cause now we not we not looking for a Kanye West no more. We not looking for a Drake. We not looking for an Eminem. We not looking for a Jay-Z. We not looking for a legend no more. We looking for a killer now. We looking for who who talking that killer stuff in that music and really doing that. So now it ain't it ain't talent no more. It ain't it ain't nobody who could preach some real stuff. We looking for a killer now. You ain't a killer. We not we not messing with you like that. So all that's gonna do is is make a little little dude in the neighborhood be like you know 
all our lives, every young black man that had the phase that they wanted to be a rapper. So all all that's going to make a young black man do is be like, okay, I want to be a killer. Oh, I got to get over 10 bodies. Oh, I just heard King Von say, you're not a killer if you, got, if you only got two bodies. Oh, I got to get over two bodies. I want to be a rapper. I can't be a rapper and not have done this. So that's going to influence them to, oh, they, they in a competition who could kill the most now. That's where that come from. It ain't never going to end, especially in Philadelphia. So... You know, when y'all start, when y'all start, and and, it, and it's the fans too, the fans who not doing all of that stuff, who know all that stuff wrong. If we be like, if we be like, you know what, you making music like this, we not listening. I bet them rappers switch up they they content real quick when that money not coming in. Oh, I yeah, guarantee they do. When us fans be like, yo. We not listening to this. If, if the fans was like Julio, Fulio, Young and A's and that Who I Smoke era, if they was like, yo, we not we not listening to that, bro. Y'all got to change. Y'all got to squash the beef or we not listening to y'all. Chicago, y'all got to squash the beef or we not listening to y'all. Once you get on that, I bet it change. I bet because they move off of money. Mm -hmm. So once we stop listening to them, I guarantee like, oh, dang, this, they don't want to hear this. Boom. So it's all hand in hand. It's all hand to hand. That's how it's got to go. It ain't never going to end, man. Stop preaching. Stop preaching. We need to stop. It ain't never going to stop. <laughs> it ain't never stopping. It's only going to get worse. That's with the music. It's only going to get worse. Come on, man. And it ain't even just the music. It's, it's turning into a classism society. Mm -hmm. It's turning the rich is getting rich and the poor is getting more poor. So it's only going to get worse. And we in the times of Noah in the Bible. Them robbers, them killers, that violence finna spike up. We in a book of Revelations era right now. <laughs> it is looking crazy. I ain't going to lie. That violence finna get worse. They trying to, they tired of, they tired of this recession. It's a recession going on. They tired of getting uh, itched on by the rappers. These young guys tired of getting, 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 getting overlooked by women because they ain't got money. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Look what happened to him. They pulled up on that Airbnb. You know what I mean? Come on, man. They, they tired of it. They tired of getting clowned by the rappers. They ain't got this. They ain't got that. They tired of getting overlooked by the woman. They tired of this. They tired of having to do extra to, dang, I can't get this woman unless I fly out. Dang, this I fly to Barbados. Dang, I ain't even got a passport yet. I got to get a Birkin, dang. You know? So, yeah, man, people don't want to work that hard to get a million. What y'all doing, rappers? And, and you know, rappers, what y'all doing is not hard. It's the easiest thing in the book to, to do with anybody, man. It's super easy to do. Y'all not doing nothing that's impressive. Vince Staples said it's in, that's the new, uh, like, interns getting into the entertainment business. That's what Vince Staples said. I'm just going by what he said. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.